Hey, how y'all doing? Uh, welcome back to another YouTube video with me. Uh, today, before I dive into the content, I'd like to start off by uh, giving a shout out to Montauk Brewing Company. I appreciate y'all. Y'all gave me this hat. Uh, I think it's a pretty sweet hat. Um, y'all, y'all got a great product. I'd, I'd, I'd love to talk to somebody and then the uh, HQ about getting a sponsor. So, uh, Montauk, I appreciate y'all. But let's get into this content. So, <clears throat> I'm here in quarantine, as you probably are now too, and uh, I just finished Ozarks season three, season three of Ozarks, and hell, man, it got me, oh boy, it got my nerves torn up. Got me all torn up, but uh, real good show, real good work. I mean, Lord Lenny, just a fantastic actor. But, you know, being in this quarantine and, and, and watching Ozark and kind of, you know, feeling connected with my roots a little bit. I'm not from the Ozarks, but I am country. I'm country. And, uh, you know, I started thinking, what happened to us? Country people, I mean, what, hap what happened to us? I, I had some things in my head and, and I got a couple points I, I want to I wanna make. And I need, I, need, I need my southern brethren and I need... My cousins out in the Midwest, and even my cousins up north. Because listen, y'all, there are country people up north. There are country people all over New York. Because New York is a state. It's not just the city. And people who live uh, out of the city up upstate, man, they're, they're farm people. They got John Deere up there. These, these are country people. So listen, if you're a country person, you know, I need you to hear me out on this. We have lost both our respect. We were a respectful, a respectful group. And we have also kind of lost that outlaw energy that we had, that that Waylon Jennings, George Jones kind of thing. And I feel like we we just kind of gave up on those and we started focusing more on being a brand. Country became being a brand. It wasn't about hard work and respect and loving your neighbor and, you know, putting a good roof over your head and hoping your kids grow up to do better than you did. I mean, that's country to me. You know, you put them out there to work, they're going to grow up, grow up right. And I feel like we we more concerned with, with them, you know, country music, bro country. Listen, country people, why are we so obsessed with supporting this damn president? I mean, I know that sounds controversial, but y'all, this is a man who ain't done a bit of manual labor in his damn life. He's from New York City, and no disrespect, you can't choose where you're from, but he don't know us. He don't know country people, so why are country people... So, so right to just get on, get on board with this man. Y'all say that a lot of y'all, y'all are believers and you say you see Jesus in him. Well, you better get your bifocals checked because I don't see a, an ounce of Jesus Christ in, in this man. He's a mean old man. He ain't never done no hard work. He steals money. He don't pay his taxes. Listen, that ain't country. That ain't, that ain't how I think of country. So, I mean, we, we got we to gotta work on, on getting our priorities straight. I'm not saying Joe Biden's country either. I'm not, I'm not trying to make it political. I just, I just, you know, hell, man. I just wish we'd call spade a spade like we used to. And this man, federal government, that ain't country. Not at all. Hell, man. His, his, his wife, his third wife, so much for till death do us part. His third wife. And I mean, I know sometimes divorce happens. I ain't, I ain't trying to talk down to nobody. I, I, I repent for saying that. But, but the point is, his wife, and she thinks she's too good to stay in the White House. What are we doing? How country is that? Someone offers you a home, one of the, the best home in the country, and you say, no, that ain't good enough for me. Hell. Hell, not, mm -mm, not my house. Not where I grew up. Hell no. All right, second thing I want to talk about, country people. Why are y'all so against the Mexicans? Again, I don't mean to sound controversial, but country people, why are y'all saying things like build the wall? We don't want them here. Hell, boy, this was their land. Damn, Texas was Mexico. We came and took that shit, man. I bet it wasn't right. I mean, it was outlaw and it was wild, wild west. There wasn't rules out there and it was a different time. I understand, I understand, I understand. But hell, boy, we love cowboys. We love them. That's, 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 that's where we come from. Hard work, getting you, rolling your sleeves up, you know, getting that farmer strength, boy. You know who were the original cowboys? Damn Mexicans. Rancheros. They were the first cowboys. So how are you going to say, we love your culture, we're going to take it, we're going to wear the hats, we're going to wear the chaps, and we're going to ride horses and FFA and, and high school rodeo. We're going to do all this, but we don't like y'all. Come on. 
Come on, someone invites you over and, and to, their, to their house and they feed you and you say, man, damn, that was the best potato casserole I ever had. You don't ask for that recipe, start making that potato casserole and then badmouth the man who taught you how to make it or the woman who taught you how to make it. That ain't respect, that ain't country. So y'all need to be nice to those people. They're hardworking people. God damn it, they're hardworking people. Don't make, don't make no sense to me. I say, we love being country. We love cowboys, but we don't like y'all. Y'all were the original cowboys. Come on. Come on. Y'all, I know, I know. Sometimes we, we the, the blessings that we get, the spiritual gifts that we give might be that of, of the body. You know, we are, we are hard workers. We are, sometimes we consider ourselves a simple people, and there ain't nothing wrong with that. But just because we hard workers and we're simple does not mean we don't have damn brains. Come on. Y'all need to be good. Be nice to each other. Be nice to each other. And the last thing, sorry, I, I wrote a couple notes because this was bothering me now. If I break out a, a damn pen and paper, y'all know something going down. Uh, the last thing I want to talk about is country music. <sighs> Boy, I grew up on country music. That, that is the God's honest truth. I grew up listening to Reba, George Strait, Joe Diffie, and Shania Twain, Tim McGraw, Kenny Chesney. It goes on. We can go on and on. We can just keep listing these, you know, 90s country, 2000s country from my childhood. And I know times change. I listen to other music, too. Hell, I like a little hip-hop. To me. To the window, to the wall. That's a good tune, man. That's a good... You can dance to that. Ain't nothing wrong with liking the different kinds of music. And I know that because, you know, rock changes, you know, you got new metal and Linkin Park, and then you got, you know emo rock, and I know genres change. Country music is allowed to change, but hell, the changes that we made, they ain't worth the damn. We got Ed Hardy country. I can't listen to another goddamn Ed Hardy country song. I'm, I'm just, I'm just sick of it. I'm just, I'm just sick of it. I'm, I, boyfriend country, that's the new thing. Everybody just, Keith Urban just loves his woman like a religion and, and you know, Thomas Rhett and all these other boys, they just, you know, they love their girl and Florida George Line, yeah, they love their girl now. I mean, 10 years ago, they were, you know, talking about booty shorts and, you know, getting drunk on tailgates and now they just love their woman. Get out of here. It ain't real. It's all a brand. It's all brand. It's John Deere and ain't nothing else about it real. It's just, it's an illusion. It's a brand. I mean, we do got a couple of good country music people out there. I mean, we, we, they, they're still out there. Y'all heard Midland? Midland, they good. I like those boys. They got, they got good tunes. Casey Musgrave, hell, she's beautiful. She writes beautiful songs. She won a damn Grammy. She won a couple of them. She toured with Harry Styles from One Direction, boy. I saw her. Yeah, I saw Harry Styles. But listen, that ain't, that ain't the way what I'm talking about here now. Point is, we got some good people coming up. Luke Combs, man, I love Luke Combs down in Charlotte. He's a good, got a good singer, got that rough, gruff voice, and it's, yeah, I believe him when he sings. But I, what I'm saying is these are three artists who, who kind of feel like the minority because we're just bombarding country music with just bro country. They won't even play women on the radio in country music. Y'all supposed to be taking care of damn women out there. Y'all supposed to be lifting them up. You know, equality. We want that. Come on. Y'all don't forgot Faith Hill? Y'all don't forgot Reba? Shit, you better let them women sing. You better play them on the radio, too. I mean, where am I pointing this thing? Y'all, out there, right here. Got to hear eight, eight, nine, ten different men who look all the same. With, the, with They're all six foot, and they're kind of jacked, and they got beards, and it's just, it just is a brand. It ain't, it ain't real, and I'm sick of it. I'm sick of the country music. Y'all... Y'all got to stop being so blindsided by being on brand. Y'all want to be, y'all want to look country. You want to, you want to be seen as country, but you don't want to be country. You don't want to act country. That means being respectful, uh, using your brain, working hard, and not just talking about it, not just tick-tocking about it. Anywho, I certainly don't want to seem like I'm being a negative Nancy or I, I you know, I don't want to, I don't want to. Seem like I'm complaining. I'm grateful. The quarantine just, you know, I got got me in my feelings a little bit. And I just feel like I needed to express myself, say something, and uh, hopefully encourage some of y'all to do a little better. I know I'm working on it, trying to do better myself. So, anyway, y'all be good. Take care of each other. God bless.